conductor or insulator. Semiconductor can be pure elements such as silicon or germanium or compounds such as aluminium, arsenic, and iridium selenide. In a process called doping, small amount of impurities are added to pure semiconductors, causing large changes in the conductivity of the material. Yes. With me again, now I will approach to you about the semiconductor process. Every semiconductor process, they have four processes actually. First was product designs, then front end, back end process, and lastly for assembly. At these four stages, they have a uh, small process. Firstly, was circuit designs, wafer fabrication, probing, assembly, test, and lastly, port assembly. That's all. Back process. Firstly, it was a wafer mounts. After that, wafer saw and watch. Then, it was a die board. After that, wire board. After that, mold, plating, trim and form, electrical test, mark, and lastly, tape and trim. Product design process. Product design process was a high level of process which requires a VLSI. That means very large scale integration. VLSI is process of combining the transistor into a single chip. They have a two main of types of transistor levels. First was N norm and N. That was a include about the mains. Uh, for front end process, this is the total process of the flow chain. Firstly, we use lower metal deposition that consists of insulator and metal. Secondly, we use lower metal patterning that consists of photolithography, metal etching, and this is removal. Third is the internal insulation deposition that consists of insulator deposition. Fourth is through hole fabrication that has photolithography, insulated etching, and this is removal. And the fifth is the upper metal fabrication that consists of photolithography, metal deposition, and replica. And lastly is the complete total of the process. Thank you. For front end process continuum, what wafer testing process, we need to process testing functionality of every dice in the wafer. The testing will sort each dice to different bind according to the testing result. Good, good bind 1, bind with fail, bind 8, OS fail, bind 5 and 6. Wafer mount. Wafer mount are mounts on a minor tape that adds to the back of the wafer. The mounting tape provides support for handling during wafer saw and the dice attach process. This is before and then after. Thank you. Wafer saw and wash. Cut the individual die from the wafer, leaving the die on the minor tape. And wafer of the sawn is washed to remove silicon debris. This is wafer mount on ring. And that is after saw wafer. I will discuss about die bond. Die bond is provides mechanical support to the silicon dies and electrical connection between die to lead frame. Uh, this one is a soft wafer uh, with a diamond epoxy uh, and this one is a lead frame, the machine and after the machine to complete the uh, with diamond. Okay. okay next is the uh, wire bond. Wire bond provides gold wire interconnection between silicon die pad and lead frame lead post. This one is a gold wire that they, they use and this one is a type uh, of machine bonding Chikawa and DSM and then the final for the uh, wire bond. The model is a compound protect the device mechanically and environmentally. Transfer molding is used to encapsulate most plastic packages. This one is a material for the mold and a machine for the mold and this is one of the final products. Is the plating. Plating is allowed for the mechanical and electrical interconnection between the packages and printed circuit board. Lead frame based packages most commonly use thin lead to solder plating as the final lead finish. PV free packages use pure as, an, as final lead finish. This one is uh, material that uh, plating and the machine. And this is one is a final product for bed. Okay, the next process is trim and form simulation. Uh, the process where the individual leads of the lead frame are separated from the lead frame strip. Uh, they have two types of uh, trim and form, which is manual and auto. 
Bengal leads a cut and form mechanically to its specified shape with a single punch. Uh, then, auto trim and form individual units are simulated from the different stripe through progressive trim and form. Okay, this is the machine for manual trim form and this is auto trim and form. And this is the final product. Next, uh, electrical test. Electrical test is to ensure units are meeting electrical specification before shipping after assembly process. Okay, that is the raw stock which is the material and this is the test handler and this is the final process. Then mark. Mark please cooperate and product identification on a package device. Marking allows for product differentiation. Next, laser method are used to mark the packages. Only good unit are marked after the test. Okay, this is unmarked unit, and this is the material be, uh, after the marked unit. Okay, the last process for back end process, which is tape and reel. Final packaging of products prior shipping to customer. Okay, that is the material before the tape and reel process. This is the machine that we use to tap and reel process and this is the final product for this process. Next is final test. Final test is the process of testing the package with the greater circuit chip to specification. Final test consists of multiple test insertion of each chip at different temperatures, voltage and frequency of operation in an attempt to duplicate the same condition in real world environment. Next, in addition to the final test of each unit, sample are pulled from each group of unit for quality assurance testing. Overall final test yield is the product of the yield of each of the final test steps. This is final test equipment. So for open and short test, test if the wire are bonding well, supply the voltage at every pin except ground, then measure the current between pin and ground. Fail part will be sold to pin 5, 6. This testing will following by off-law, V equal to IR.